Hello and welcome to episode 26 of Africanists Assemble. Too often, financial constraints limit our abilities to visit new spaces to work in and learn from. This is why in this month's episode we offered our contributors an imaginary grant and asked them the question, let's pretend that you've been offered a grant to work for up to one year in an African country, region or space that you've never visited before. Where would you choose to go and why? Join us on a virtual tour through all the countries our contributors came up with. I'm really excited to share with you an opportunity that holds great potential for enriching our understanding of African culture, biodiversity and the impact of climate change. Having been offered a grant to work in an African region, my choice is the Okavango Delta in Botswana. As a unique interior delta system that doesn't flow into a sea or ocean, the Okavango presents a remarkably rich biodiversity and a distinct set of environmental dynamics influenced by its annual flooding. As an archival officer, my primary goal is to preserve and highlight historical information, narratives and data. The Okavango Delta provides a fascinating convergence of environmental, anthropological, and climate stories waiting to be documented and understood more deeply. In terms of cultural heritage, the Okavango Delta is home to the Botswana people, who have adapted to the ebb and flow of the Delta water for centuries. Their history, Customs and practices form a vibrant tapestry of cultural heritage. Archiving their oral histories, traditional practices and their adaptation to environmental changes can enrich our global cultural repository and provide insight into human resilience and adaptation. In terms of biodiversity, the Okavango Delta is a sanctuary for a vast array of species. Creating comprehensive record of this biodiversity can not only contribute to global scientific knowledge, but also support conservation effort by providing a baseline for measuring changes and threats for the Delta ecosystem over time. Now, finally, in terms of climate change studies, as an archival officer, I could also contribute to documenting the impact of climate change on this unique ecosystem by maintaining records of annual flooding patterns, species migration, and vegetation changes. We can track and understand the manifestation of climate change over time. Now, this data can be invaluable in shaping global climate policies and strategies. This one-year project in the Okavango Delta will not only benefit my work as an archival officer, but will also contribute valuable knowledge to the various fields of studies, including anthropology, ecology, and climate science. Bila shaka ningepata fursa hii ya peke, ningechagua inchi Afrika Kusini. Mbona Afrika Kusini? Moja ni kuwa itakuwa fursa nzuri ya kufurahia mandhari na kuzuru miji ya Afrika Kusini kama Cape Town, Johannesburg na Pretoria ambayo ni miji mikuu yenye uhai wa kipekee. Miji hii inavutia kwa uzuri wa asili na usanifu wa majengo ambao ni wa kipekee. 
sababu ya pili itakuwa kujifunza kuhusu utamaduni wa watu na historia ya nchi hii. Nikizungumza kuhusu historia nina maana ya sera ya ubaguzi wa rangi. Mcheshi Trevanoa katika kitabu chake ambacho ni tawasifu yake Bona Crime amechora taswira kamili ya unyanyasaji na ubaguzi wa rangi raia wa nchi hii waliupitia. Lakini kufanya kazi nchi Afrika Kusini kutaniwezesha kuwa mtafiti zaidi na kupata habari za kuaminika moja kwa moja. Aidha kama mwandishi wa masuala ya burudani matamanio yangu ni kufanya utafiti wa kina na kuandika makala kuhusu jinsi watu wanaendesha maisha yao basi nitafanya utafiti zaidi kuhusu sekta ya filamu ambayo inazidi kukua sana na mziki maarufu wa ama piano ambao unazidi kuteka anga kila uchao mwisho ukiangalia orodha ya vyo vikuu vinavyoongoza barani Afrika nchi ambayo imekuwa ikitawala orodha hii ni Afrika Kusini vyo vikuu kama chuo kikuu cha Cape Town chuo kikuu cha Witwatersrand chuo kikuu cha Stellenbosch na chuo kikuu cha Pretoria ni mifano ya vyo vikuu hivi basi itakuwa fursa nzuri kuzuru taasisi hizi za kielimu na kujifunza zaidi mifumo ya kielimu katika nchi hii. Hakika fursa hii itasalia katika kumbukizi zangu milele. How wonderful it will be if I got a grant to work for up to one year in an African country. I don't have to think. The place I'd like to be is Namibia. And the reason being that um, just recently in Namibia there was a conference of vice chancellors and rectors and directors of high institutions on the continent of Africa. It was such a pleasure watching and listening and participating online with these wonderful people and the place itself has drawn me. I'm doing everything possible. If you're listening to the sound of my voice and you know anybody in Namibia who wants somebody to come there for real i will offer myself in a drop of a heart namibia is such a lovely place there's so many things to learn there especially the national university of namibia wonderful university the kind of uh, courses they offer there i have never heard about them anywhere else so i wouldn't even have to think too hard the pl the place i would like to be for one year is Winhor in Namibia. So, if anybody knows how I can do that, let my dream come true. In the Ambuche mi Cameroon ajom. To mi hebi sa ahu go halesti janandinder Africa har mi medai no yago min kam mi suban Nigeria. Uh, hujaji am bodon tati hujja am arana larani anna anyaji am der linjitore nda mi yidi mi fama no fulful de wolwirte a woyla nigeria nda bo yelore am be famu go no fulful de hutinirte der bindi e eh, chankitan di gimi ande e eh, elto bako wowa no boima be bindi ajamia har yola Idaba am kam e larani dem de kutinirade to ingilisre don huwa ha Nigeria mi wala billa be mare sam to luti babal kugal bon fulful de be hausa bolwete ko hausa am lugai bo min kam mi tawi mi hebi dalila kadi luggin go de ha Nigeria man kadim to hala tataba Bo milari Nigeria dayai jurbe lesti am kamaru kadi tagufoti eh, ho asiuta ruta ala wal yahalaru ya sarumum eh, ide loro ha kugal dahuja amin kam So if I would be offered a grant to work up to one year in African country that I've never been before. I would choose Eritrea 
because that is where the majority of Nara people live. Uh, Nara is a um, language which is thought to be most closely related to Meoritic. Uh, Meoritic is an ancient African language from the Nara Saharan family. It's a language that has only been partially deciphered, but it has been conjectured that a better understanding of Nara may allow us to understand this dead language better. So, considering the lack of fieldwork, extensive fieldwork that has been done on Nara, I would love to be there for a while, learn the language, and hopefully that knowledge would allow us then to understand this dead language of an empire that lasted for hundreds of years and which has left dozens of inscriptions, it would allow us to understand that language perhaps a little bit better. Kwa upande wangu ningeenda nchi ya Ethiopia. Kwa sababu kwa miaka mingi nimekuwa na hamu ya kupafikia. Nimevutiwa sana na lugha ya Amharic, pia na mji wa Lalibela. Tena, hivi karibuni nimekuwa nikiwazia sana Addis Ababa kwa sababu maalum inayohusu kazi yangu. Kwa mchangu wangu katika mradi fulani unaoitwa Prismatic Jane Eyre, nilichungulia kidogo swali la riwaya hiyo, yani Jane Eyre iliyoandikwa kwa Kiingereza na Charlotte Bronte na kuchapishwa karne ya 19, riwaya hiyo katika lugha za Kiafrika. Nikagundua kwamba kuna lugha moja ya Kiafrika yenye tafsiri ya Jane Eyre na hiyo ni lugha ya Amharic. Kulikuwa na, ta- na tafsiri ya Jane Eyre iliyochapishwa Addis Ababa mwaka 1981. Lakini kitabu hiki hakipatikani kabisa kwenye maktaba za Marekani wala sijafanikiwa kukikuta kwenye orodha za vitabu za maktaba za Ulaya. Kama ningepata nafasi ya kusafiri Ethiopia, ningefurahia sana kupeleleza swali hili la tafsiri. Kukitafuta kitabu chenyewe na kuelewa ni nani aliyefasiri Jane Eyre na kwa sababu gani na tafsiri yenyewe ikoje. Hilo ni swali la hivi karibuni lakini hakika niongeze kwa kueleza kueleza kwamba kwa miaka mingi nimekuwa na hamu ya kupatembelea Ethiopia kusoma lugha ya Amharic na pia kuelewa zaidi kuhusu lugha nyingine za nchi na fasihi zake hasa mashairi na fasihi simulizi katika lugha mbalimbali ningependa kulinganisha kidogo yani kuangalia namna lugha na fasihi mbalimbali mbali za Ethiopia zinazokuwa na kuathiriana na namna hali hiyo inayofanana ama kutofautiana na hali ya Tanzania kwa mfano ya Kiswahili na lugha nyingine za Tanzania The country I would wish to visit is Senegal I have encountered this country through uh, literary imaginative works most notably through the f- renowned writer Sembene Ousmane. I have settled on this author because he is proficient in several genres, namely the novel and the film. For this reason, I would want to give an example of one of his notable works, namely Hala. Hala was originally written in the French language and published in 1973. Later it was translated and published in English in 1976 in the Heinemann African Writers Series. And this is the book that uh, exposed me to, apart from God's Bits of Wood, exposed me to the uh, literary works of Sembene Osmane. The other reason why I like this uh, film is because It was adapted into a film through the Wolof language. It is the beauty of this African or West African language that makes me wish to visit Senegal so that I can listen to the rhythm and the articulation of this wonderful language. Hala, the film, is based on 
a character known as El Haji Abdul Kadir Baye, who is unable to consummate his marriage with his third wife because he suffers from an erectile dysfunction. He is under a curse. Now, using various metaphors, most notably that of impotence, this film is a satirical representation of corruption and the insatiable greed that we witness in post-independent African countries. El Haji discovers that he is impotent and suspects that his first two wives are responsible for his misfortune. But little does he realize that the people responsible for this curse are the beggars he has stolen, stolen from. He therefore embarks on a journey in an attempt to search for a cure that will remove the spell. Eventually, it is only after his business empire has crumbled, it is only after he has nearly lost everything that the people he has robbed from confront him, offering to remove the magic spell, but for a price. And for this reason, I would want to embark on a journey to discover where El Haji got his cure for impotence. Nashukuru sana kujumlisha katika kitengo hiki na mikutua rai. Nitachagua nchi ya Afrika Kusini kwa sababu Afrika Kusini ni taifa nzuri kwa muonekano wake mandhari yake yanapendeza hasa pwani ya bahari mita na pori. Afrika Kusini ina kila nini ya wanyama na ndege. Ndio maana watu wengi ulipopiga kura lipi taifa safi wakati chagua taifa hili la Afrika Kusini kwa kuwa taifa safi. Jambo jingine la kunipa matumaini Watu waliosoma ni wengi mno kilinganisha mataifa mengine. Mbali na hayo taifa hili limeanza kuporesha kukaribisha wageni kutoka mataifa kama Tanzania kuanza kufunza lugha zao kama vile Kiswahili ambacho kitaunganisha bara nzima la Afrika. Jambo jingine ni soka. Mimi napenda kandanda. Afrika Kusini kitofu cha kandanda maana viwanja zaidi ya vitano vimejengwa katika viwango vya kima taifa. Hivyo mafunzo kimkimu hutolewa katika taifa hili. Watoto wanakuwa wakipokea mafunzo aina mbalimbali ya michezo kama vile kandanda, hoki, mpira wa pete, volleyball na kriketi. Nzuri zaidi kuna vilabu vingi na hulipa wachezaji marubugu yao vizuri. Jambo jingine viwango vya elimu ni vya kima taifa maana lugha inayosemwa sana ni Kiingereza. Kutokana na malipo mazuri ya walimu na wafanyakazi wa umma, wanafunzi kumiminiwa elimu ya kiwango cha juu hivyo baadaye huja kuwa wajasilia mali na kuinua taifa lao. If I am offered a grant to work in any of the African countries I shall go to the Gambia. Although I have not been there, I am aware that they need researchers in every area. Again, in spite of the fact that they have gained independence for years, they find difficulty in self-actualization in several areas, particularly in the area of developing the literary enterprise of the nation. One will notice that this country has not been visible on the literary world map like some other African nations. This is exceptionally so because of colonial paradigm shift which had possibly affected the indigenous and literary push and uplift the colonial perspective which must have taken over their indigenous storytelling and literary pursuits. One common thing about the colonized countries in Africa is that they ignore their indigenous language and literature for the colonial master's language, which was intended for administrative convenience. It would therefore be of importance to renegotiate the realization of their indigenous language, literature, and 
other vital aspects of their culture. This is the reason why I would love to visit the Gambia to help refire their language and their literary pursuit for the upliftment of their nation. Omaya media se akonya bi beda ho se minko di juma awo man bi awo bibrem ha a eso a anka mepese me di mani be chee ho ye Ethiopia oman ni mu a sa oman yo man bi a mani ji ho anka sa ye na adikonti a mani ji om ho ampa ni ni se omo wo abakwase bi a toma kuma so a de tie ni se omo ye oman bi awo bibrem ha omo anka sa no se ni abakwase mi chee no abrofo entumi amachi omonkoa eh omokwa kunbe bre na kuno mukoye ni nyina no omudi nkuni eh enti ama eh mania agi na mania so ekwan omofa aso a omo ebo omo bra na mpempre mpa mene wo kasai eh madam fu baako ekodi djuma bi e wo ho emse busumi etwam ya na obaye no ni midi nkomo bebre e fa asa oman ho na asem o kan ya to makoma so Ah, me pese, me pese, me 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 ko ho mpo ni se em omo ye oman bi omo totu oman mamra se omo di omo kasa e di djuma pepe 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 am hare kasa eh kasa bi omo di di djuma pa be bia be fe bia eh kasa omo di di djuma na fe oman mamra mo nta de xe omo di di em aduane omo di ni nyina ye eh niam bi omo totu na se omo da ho a di di djuma na o sa ka se Oma san ko menim ewo enema bebre ho na we ya de a media eso mani enu ti eh maye madwen se se mi nya konya bia se mi ko man bia so a anka bidi mani be chire ho na makwa akwa ko hwe eh na mi anso eh manya sue hunu ewo ekwan mo fa so mo de mo ka so mo de mo de ane mo ta de shim eh e de bo mo bra ewo o mo man ni mu eh ethiopia man bi o man a mani je ho na ka mi nya akonya e ka me ko ho me da se se o ma me konya na mi so ma che ma dwen wo ojuma die iso if given the chance to travel to and work in a country in africa that i've never been to before i will choose to go to tanzania why First of all I love their language Swahili which has the potential to serve as a unifying language for Africans it will be a privilege for me to have that opportunity to learn the language in a natural setting where it is both used as a mother tongue and an official language secondly I'm interested in finding out more about the country how the country has endured its linguistic variety Tanzania is one of the few African nations to make an African language one of its official languages. My research indicates that just 10% of the population speaks Swahili as a first language, with the remaining 90% speaking it as a second language. In primary school also, it is used as a language of instruction. I find this to be very uh, really informative. Many African nations have failed to accomplish this. In Nigeria, for example, Although the language the government's language policy stipulates that the three main national languages Yoruba, Hausa and Igbo should be employed as a language of instruction in elementary schools and also as a language used in the parliament this has not really been successful so i believe that uh, there is a lot we can learn from a nation like Tanzania as a researcher interested in sociolinguistic issues such as uh, language planning language use and diglossia I also believe there is a lot I can learn from that country since they have three official languages I would be interested to know more about the functions assigned to each of the languages in that speech community and also by promoting Swahili as a national and an official language what is the fate of the minority languages so if I have the chance to work in that environment I believe it will help me to better understand the issues raised above and also it will inspire fresh research ideas on language planning language use and diglossia in the african linguistic milieu i 
Ase na enyem egon chocham geji enen chocham heji kutu afo. Ma guam kam horotu ni memba. Nde den afwe kan kemna gatu begembo. Hebe mga ge nen chocham. Aga ma horo South Africa. Aga tu begim South Africa. Mani ye menem geja horo South Africa. Bo site ni yendem nonona. Nandem kotarala. Nde gunyere. South Africa mwenem kwe jie bintu. Dike ezi bo adu ube lu kwe sirintu kwa siyobi. Ezi bo kborozo. Oko la tri kina digide. Ezi bo soro nzi kore tozi. Dere zie gama. Atma tu koment South Africa demma. Nke ne me kando abia. Nandi niliranya. Idi ne inu inu abia. Ezi bo nghaze okbure gona. Hana nabata mani elezi kwa ndo bihanya. Ogo mpu ha arechagi ilu. Onye mchocha chore ebe mpu na adekaregi. Nke genye yuhiri. E gagari. Ma mwe ike mwete nye makante mmadu. Na akukwa di chichi. Iji me nchocha taro chichi. Ma mwete zi nchopota. Ste na nchocha ya. Ono di inhue li ugwe. Oyi. Okotu. Ogoro. Nudum mene ha. Di onyocha no nyo ji ima na hao. Asu sana ga agun sobu. Ni hi asu si zubwe ha. Ba asu su beke. Ebe ha na akwa do. Mana akwa li tolu ndi ha. Ozo kwa. E mwene. Ogo nuku ntugare. Nantapia. Nke neme kamba gujwana. Hape ede na asu su. South Africa de ju. E mwe kwara uloriri na mkwari. Na dekari go konu. Ebe ha mwe kwa rotu tebe nle poranya. Na nkadi chiche. Inye ndia. Na pokati isi yonu. Mane nyaka. Ime ncho cha geido anya. Madaba kwa adaba. Heji gome na la hegu egu. Ezi bonri. Egu na nkadi chiche. Ewe na otutu mahadun. Na oba kuko. Ebe mwe ni ke mwe tande waka mwta. Na kwa kuko genyaka. Na ncho cha. If I am offered a grant to work for up to one year in an African country, region, or space that I have never visited before, I would choose to visit the Democratic Republic of Congo or the Congo DRC. This is obviously a risky ambition, bearing in mind that the Congo has a long history of violent conflicts and it is not among the safest countries in Africa. However, the Congo has a lot in common with Nigeria where I reside in terms of the richness of the flora and fauna, mineral deposits and diversity of ethnic groups, not forgetting the monstrous problems it has in common with Nigeria like tribalism, nepotism, corruption and violent conflicts. I would also want to interact with the people, explore the rivers and all there is to experience. This is essential for me because being a writer Whatever I would experience would build my imagination. I recall that Joseph Conrad, one of the greatest English writers of all time, fed his eyes on his encounter in the Congo and that parted one of his finest books, Heart of Darkness. This book would go on to instigate a counter-narrative by Chinua Achebe about, about the African reality of the past. In any case, I believe the Congo lies in the heart of Africa and perhaps by staying there, I would get to feel Africa's heartbeat. It is a place less traveled by tourists, yet I believe it has a lot in store for me to learn and to connect with. Ti abani ki mu ori le ide kan, ti yo wumi, la ti lo shishe fu yin wo adun kan, ni Afrika. E yo je e jibiti, idi re ni wikpe, mo feron ki ma ato kwen kwen kan. O ma wo me ke mo kan, ke mo kule kule i di oro. Ni to ri nan, o ma wo me ke mo i tan bin kan she bere, bin kan she waye, ade ti ka in kan pukpo, ni pa jibiti, ni no bibeli. Ni to ri nan, yo wo me ke lori a wong kan mere mere to wani be, a ti a wong kan wong shen ba ye, ti mong so po wang be, ki wo bo ya a fin fara o, wa mbe lo to lo to. E yi ti mwa kwe ni o kon kopa, inye red si. Bo ya mwa le to, mwa le to kwa e lo kin ri. E mwa kin ri a mwa ori shi ri shi nkomba mwa ye. Kin wo bo ya, 
oju ti oju ibi ti won sin eh joseph si boya o wa nbe ile to gbe atawori sirese nkan beyin yen ni ko ba wu mi kinri eyi biro pyramid ti won ko laye igba yen lohun e mo awon orisirese nkan kin de tu fi wa laarin awon eh orisi eyan miran to tu yato si eh awa to je pe adulawo paraku ni wa ni orile de nigeria ni biti emi ti wa ibi ti yo wo mi kin lo lati lo sise odun kan ni idi re se ni mo ti ka sile yen ese o namobia it's a kind of place where my mama's or root also lies i am a guru ko or first these persons whose abohano ancestors kuru di kusi keko kus mite nars africa or southern africa or direct translation from my ancestral language Koikwe, which means those who built the wealth of the land we call Southern Africa. Also, when you go to the northern west part of the Northern Cape in South Africa, places like Springbok, Okip, Steinkoft, in the Richtersfeld area, where my Namakwe people lives, so is the Buruha or the amazing landscape that catches your eye. But then I will sort of create homage or Kausi tsi karesen of my kumis or heritage. Aha tsi kau kwan, oho kwa, kurima kwen, salon sa di apohan ti a, or in the name of my ancestors, son of the Bondoswats, the people with the narrow cheekbones and the high standards. That said, I will want to work in a mobile if I would receive a grant to work for one year in an area, a region, or a space or country which I choose from because Namibia is like my second home or a place that I want to also acknowledge and work into so that I have my great respect and I would also see Namibia as the place where I would love to give back for those who came and those who are my ancestors and the people that cared and the people that carried me as the word Apohan in Koikum is those who carried you in spirit. I am Tiv, descendant of Takuruku Ayamazinga. From the Bantu, I crossed the Congo rivers, amid some broken walls to arrive at a dead end and be drawn in the long river. I am Tiv, the Ikalem parted the waters with her greenish skin, letting a joyful rest into the majestic swim where the pillars of my survivor is wrapped in victory songs. I am Tiv. By my father's bidding, his preserved skull sleeps in the pot of life. In daily dissonance, I ask questions about my unpronounced fate. I am Thieve. I travel with my digging sticks and the wooden hose. With all the seeds in my kega and ikese, I conquer territories. I am Thieve. I encountered no chameleon, no fracoline flies across the vast green forest. I didn't combat the porcupine and the owl in the bush during the day. I am Thief. I found a fertile ground, the home for all my descendants who must live on, farming and hunting. Someday the river Benue will give its oil. This poem is taken from my collection titled Tattoos of Bullet Holes. If I were given a grant to work for up to a year in an African country, I would choose to go to the Shaba area of the present day Republic of Congo. Why? It is believed that the Thief people migrated from that part of Africa as far back as the 15th and 16th centuries. I shall be interested in this area because it would give me the opportunity of examining or critically evaluating concrete evidence to support that claim. Of course, I am Thief myself. So knowing this history firsthand is very important to me. I would be interested in drawing a comparative relationship between these two groups in terms of both their material and immaterial culture. Well, for me, it is a journey into self-rediscovery of some sort. So, if I could go in an African country, region, or space that I've never visited before, this would have to be the Horn of Africa. I would really want to go to Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. The main reason for this is clearly because of the 
the historical ties and implications between this part of Africa and my own country, Italy, that occupied and colonized parts of the Horn. And I think that it's crucial for me as an Italian to understand my own country's history and my own positionality in the world to confront and understand this colonial legacy in the Horn of Africa. I think it is really important always to gain an outsider perspective of one's own country and one's own history and understand other narratives and other points of view, especially when there's a history of violence, uh, of, op- of occupation, such as was the Italian history in the Horn of Africa. So yes, it's very straightforward for me. I also, I have engaged with many, many scholars from the Horn over the course of my academic career. I have many friends from the region who have repeatedly invited me and, you know, said how important it is to go. And I think what's also interesting is that there are a lot of archives, I think, especially in Asmara, that are in Italian language. So I think as an Italian scholar, it would be important to also open up new areas of research where the Italian language is essential. Yes, so this is a straightforward one for me. And aside from, of course, the academic and historical reasons, I just, I've heard from everyone that it's a beautiful part of the world. So I would, of course, love to see that, both the architecture and the ecology, and, of course, one where there is a wonderful tradition of jazz. So I would love to go and hear some Ethiopian jazz in Addis. If I have been offered a grant to walk up to a year in an African country, region or space of my choice, I would love to choose South Africa because I love the Zosa and Zulu attires. I love their song rendition. I love their language. I also love their landscape. Etima ya jeim to ni akan liman jenan tan ko nan yo nan nan be yeni oba to nkon akem blu ye pepe bo ya ni ya bi jan ke ai ya jam na de lo apa ya na ye na aka nan bo yimi na wa ya ni ya bi ke ai ye na ku epo blu ye pepe ba wa a a a a a a boy born in Obike, or he bring a paper by all in all. I discover. Ya blame me a germ. Would it in the ma way tackle? Go, ye boom, but to come on, go, I'm on bill be lucky. Keep ye and be a bealer. Not the limbs of shells. So shells, Uda Paya ye, and Oyaka East Africa. When your Uda Paya ye mood, so shells, so ye me, Blumber the island color color. If you are so so, and I learn him my own up a ma ye a sanga, not the dem, then ya da boy da. No, inform you, bring ye me a paper boy boy echo de him, da boy da, because also oba, a pa ma, at ma ku a da, and yaj a gerger da ad, uda pa ya dali, uda pa ya ye. O it open the car, a mosu so be like a cake boom back to San Nigeria, mina. You need to go up here. Yeah, five ass shells. You two no matter. You two no bring a paper paper. Ek bone, ek bike yi. You come again. Then no blame ma. Ek bone yi ma. Don't be mina. Be the be be ek bone. But ya ya ni ya bi ai. Where they call or call and research. I come call that boy da. Ni him bi no fair anto. No mono ma. Pay na bone one supposed to na. Pain about woman, make sure that in your big woman, no way, Etiana, and so shows for their apaya you come. Mother Bumwa, I mean Balambi, Buddha, Rasa. If I am given a grant to go to an African uh, country that I have been wanting to visit and I've never been there before for a project. I think uh, the country I'll go to will be Ghana. Not really uh, because of anything special, 
but uh, simply because Ghana is one of those African countries that I've been wanting to visit, one of the many African countries that I've been wanting to visit and I've never been, been there yet. So I will start with Ghana for now and uh, I go start uh, the project there for a year. My project is mostly connected to gender, so it won't be quite different this time around. I will just want to use that opportunity to spend a year in Ghana and work with the women, especially the women in the suburb. Use that grant as an opportunity to reach out to uh, many Ghanaian women who are in the suburb so they can be able to start some, some projects uh, and uh, be able to be self-sustained uh, 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 through support because I I have the impression that there are many of those women um, in many African countries who need this uh, support and they need to be reached out to. So this time around, if I have to start with Ghana, I'm going to start a project like that that has to do with supporting women so that uh, it can add to their businesses to uh, whatever means or source of income that they do have. I think for now, <laughs> Ghana will be my target. And in case, just in case, I have to imagine again <laughs> that there's another grant that comes up for me to work somewhere else. And then I'm going to look for another African country. The good news is it's, it's about African countries. So I want to go to as many as uh, possible. Those were all the contributions we received this month. Given the opportunity, which of the countries our contributors picked, or any other African space, would you like to visit? Which would be your reasons to do so? Tell us about it in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to this month's episode of Africanists Assemble. If you are curious about the questions we ask next, make sure you subscribe to not miss any of the upcoming episodes. Until next time!